Hey guys, it's Bodie with IPTVWire.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install IM Player on any Amazon Fire Stick or Fire TV device. Now, for those unfamiliar, IM Player is a popular live TV player that can be used to pair with your favorite live TV services for an improved user interface. Now, I have a complete screenshot guide with more details and information on IM Player. And you can find a link to this in the description below. But before diving in too much further, it is important to note that IM Player is available inside the Google Play Store. As you'll see here, it has over 100,000 downloads. And because it is inside Google Play, we can be sure that this application is 100% legal to install and use on our devices. Now, since IM Player is not available inside the Amazon App Store, we must sideload this live TV player on any Fire Stick or Fire TV device. In this example, I'm using an Amazon Fire Stick 4K Max, but this will work on any variation of the Amazon Fire Stick 4K or Fire TV device. So the first thing you'll want to do is hover over Home from the main screen, and then hover over Find, click Search, and now we're going to type in Downloader. And once you see Downloader appears here, click Downloader. Click the orange icon under Apps and Games. Wait a few seconds. Then click Download. And we're going to wait a few seconds for Downloader to install on our device. And after Downloader has installed before launching the app, we need to hit the home button on a remote and change a few settings. So guys, make sure you hover over the settings icon here from the home screen. Scroll down and click My Fire TV. Click About. Then click Fire TV Stick 4K Max or whatever this says here until you see the following message. No need, you are already a developer. Once you see that message, click the back button. Click Developer Options. Click Install Unknown Apps, and you'll see Downloader here. Click OK, and now Install Unknown Apps is turned on for Downloader. So now let's hit the Home button on our remote. Scroll down under Recently Used Apps. You should see Downloader. Click that to launch it. Click Allow. Click OK, and you've now installed the Downloader app. So after you've installed the Downloader app, the next step to installing IM Player is to click the search box here and we're gonna enter the following code, 298344, double check that for accuracy and click go. And now we're gonna wait a few seconds while we are being redirected to the IPTV Wire Quick Links page. And once you have landed on the Quick Links page, guys, the first thing I would suggest doing is coming up to the top and clicking this icon on the top right with the three lines. I'd click Add Current Page to Favorites. Click Save. And now our Quick Links page is saved inside your favorites. One other thing I always like to do is X out of these messages sometimes that will pop up. But all right, to install IM Player, once you're on the Quick Links page, Simply scroll down and you'll see all these different options for live TV players. So right here, you'll see IM Player. Let's click that. And we're gonna wait a few seconds now for the application to download. All right, once IM Player has downloaded, click Install. All right, and once IM Player has installed before launching, I would suggest holding down the Home button on your remote and we can organize some applications here. So once you do that, scroll over and click Apps, and then scroll down and you should notice IM Player now on your apps list. Click the Options button with the three lines on your remote and click Move. And now I'm going to drop IM Player towards the front of my apps list. So click the OK button to drop it. Now click the Home button. 
and you'll see I am players right here on my home screen towards the front of my apps list. So guys, before using any unverified live TV players, one thing I would suggest you do is make sure you're connected to a reliable VPN. Surfshark VPN is our number one recommended VPN at IPTV Wire. And guys, I just personally do not trust third-party app developers or my internet service provider monitoring what I am doing online. And being connected to Surfshark ensures that my connection to the internet is protected. I have a special discount link per below this video that does help myself and the channel, so I really appreciate you guys checking that out. But after we are connected to a VPN, we're gonna launch IM Player. And we're gonna wait a few seconds and then click Allow. And here we're on the main screen of IM Player. So in this example, I'm not going to show integrating a live TV service, but if you guys were going to do that, all you would do is you would click Add Playlist, and now you have different options here. You have an M3U option, you have Extreme Codes API option, or you have a Stalker slash MAG option. And guys, one thing that I always do is I typically use M3U or Extreme Codes. So if you use M3U URLs or files, click M3U, and here is where you would give your playlist a name. You would enter in the M3U URL, here you would enter the EPG URL or electronic program guide URL if given one. You could ignore the VOD if you want. And then once you enter in that information, you would click add and then your service would populate here within IM player. And the same process works for Extreme Codes API. Name, Extreme Codes, whatever you want, the portal URL, and then our username and password provided by your live TV service. So guys, that's it. I mean, now you have installed IM Player on your Fire Stick or Fire TV device. Again, this is Bodhi. I really appreciate you watching this video. Like, share, subscribe, leave a comment below. Hope you guys have a great day, and I look forward to releasing more content like this in the near future.